There's a hilarious study of looking at who took ice cream as they went through a line. And when the ice cream was in a cooler that had the lid that was closed, about 40% of people took it. But when the lid was open, 30% of the people took it. This is an example of using the strategy of inconvenience and which is paired with the strategy of convenience. We are so influenced by whether something is slightly more inconvenient or convenient in terms of what we do. If there's something that you wanna do, make it easier. And if you don't wanna do it, make it less easy to do. If you want to make it hard to turn on the TV, you keep your remote control in another room on a high shelf so it's out of reach. If you wanna make it yourself more likely to do something like practice your drawing, you wanna keep your markers and your sketch pad right at hand so that you don't have to run off and get it, these things are very convenient. The strategy of convenience and the strategy of inconvenience are extremely easy to put into place and they are more effective than you might think. I've been surprised by how many people sleep in their exercise clothes just so that when they get up in the morning, they're ready to go.